What's going on there, YouTube? Back again on the K10 build. Um, if you're just joining us, this is the RC four wheel drive Jalon 2 D110 chassis. I got bored with the D110, had it for about a year. So I took the body off. I was gonna try to sell it, and I didn't have any luck, so here we are. My cut down K5 Blazer body. And I've been thinking about it for a couple weeks now. And I think I've decided just to go with a straight bed. So I have, I've got a lot of good ideas from you guys. I appreciate it. I, I really considered making a step side. Um, I just, I don't know. Right now, I'm not, I'm not quite ready for a project that size. I'm trying to do a, a lot of styrene work. And uh, I've started to see more and more of these kind of builds online and seeing how other folks are doing it so I've got some ideas and I think I'm ready to hack up my extra blazer body for it um yeah so first we'll talk about the uh, wheelbase here all right guys so I've been, I've been getting a lot of ideas and tips and people talking about using clod buster parts with this and um instead of having to type it a hundred times in the comments the clod buster body is small the clod buster body is the same exact wheelbase as the Hilux body. So that being said, this is an inch and a half, almost two inches longer than the Trailfinder 2 wheelbase. And the, the Blazer body fits the Trailfinder 2 wheel, wheelbase, but it is nowhere near the length needed for a truck. See, this is what was cut off of here. And for it to be an actual truck bed, it needs about an inch added into it. Uh, the Blazers in real life are really short wheelbase. Two, two door, they're, you know, a short bed pickup is still about a foot longer wheelbase in real life compared to a Blazer. So, um, also, Clod Busters are narrow. They are the same width as the Hilux. So, back here I can show you. Uh, any other Hiluxes? Do I grab my blue one here? You can see how much wider, maybe, this bed is almost an inch wider than the Hilux bed. So our, our Clod Buster bodies are roughly the same width as the Hilux. And that's why they, those parts really aren't interchangeable. But, uh, you know, it's a good tip. I'm not, not dogging anybody or anything. It's always good to, you know, you're thinking getting ideas and, and thinking outside the box that's the that's what makes this hobby so so fun so uh, obviously I, my idea originally was to cut and add on to this bed but I, I that was just trying to save my other body so I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and hack the other body so what I've got to do is figure out how much of this I need on here still I'm going to figure out my wheelbase and I'm going to cut through the door and then we'll sand and fill the door handle holes and the body line or the door line and give us a bed and uh, that's that's what we're going to focus on in this video I'm not going to worry about the extending the bed floor or anything just yet I just want to get the wheelbase right and maybe figure out how to get the, the bed on this chassis um, from the way it looks the bed floor should sit right on top of these Jalon 2 the rear shock hoops but they're the only thing to stick up that high and I, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna go about mounting it yet maybe a, a custom bracket or something because there are holes for the the uh, what do you call it the topper that goes on the blazer to mount through the bottom so we may be able to utilize something on the chassis and mount up into it that way but uh, first I'm gonna go ahead and try to eyeball this cut and see where where we need how much we need to add to it all right guys after some careful measurement measuring measuring measurements whatever it's early i'm stumbling with words um i'm at nine and a quarter from the back furthest point on the bed where the tail light goes to just on the edge of the recess for the front hole of the door handle and i just measured off the bottom back and the top back. I got both sides marked 
Uh, this cut will be easy. I can just, you know, straight across that. I'm trying to decide if I want to use the Dremel or the hacksaw. Hacksaw is going to take a while. The Dremel will be messy. Um, yep. We'll see what happens. Alright guys, I opted for quick and messy. Um, those shock hoops are going to give me a little trouble. It's not quite as, uh, doesn't set quite as low as I was hoping it would. But, uh, yep, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and use my bench sander. Smooth out those edges since they're so jagged and nasty from the Dremel. And then, uh, I'll start looking at, uh, other options here. Now I know some of y'all are going to say it's, I mean, it's not a short bed. It's probably not quite a long bed. And I don't really care. It's, it fits the wheelbase that I have. Fits the chassis perfectly. So, that's what we're going for. It looks more like a long bed to me. It, it's really kind of hard to tell with the door edge still in it. Once we get all that smoothed out. And get, get some paint on it and stuff. It'll, I think it'll look like a pretty good uh, long bed body. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how I'm going to smooth this out real quick. Alright, so this is my my bench grinder sander thing um, it's got flat disc here belt up here so to get the sides even which they actually are pretty even right now <clears throat> I'm just gonna hold it on there try to sand it smoothly hopefully you don't do anything bad here Alright guys, real quick, uh, temporary fix here for my my shock towers being in the way. These are the rear shock towers. They're one that ends longer than the other, and they're a little bit taller. So I have a bunch of these extra TF2 front shock mounts since I've replaced all mine with Jalan 2s. And they are a little bit shorter, and they're even, so it's, it's about a quarter inch lower, and it's angled forward a little bit. Um, for now, that's what I'm going to do. I think that'll get it down enough to clear the bed floor. So I'm going to swap the other side out, and we'll start looking at mounting this thing. Alright guys, so that's where we're at. I uh, realize now I'm out of body filler. I use that to me a putty most of the time for this type of stuff. And uh, yeah, I still have no idea for mounting. I've got something wedged between the frame rails pushing the back of it up. But it is sitting on the, the shock hoops that we swapped out, and they do fit pretty well. So, uh, it's, I mean, it's the right height for... The bed um, still need a little cleaning up my edges I guess whenever I close the bed in I will hopefully uh, <laughs> be able to make that uh, that smooth um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good uh, since I did change the shock mounts the back did the rear suspension is jacked up a little bit I cranked the coilovers up a little bit I need to go a little bit further and still need to do some work on that but uh I want to get it down to a more stock looking height. I'm probably going to have to change shocks. Um, I think uh, I may go with more of a stock looking like RC4 drive ultimate scale shock or something. Just have to see. Um, I still don't know if I want this to be like a crawling rig or I just want to be a scale, another scale truck. <laughs> I always say I want to build a, a hardcore crawler but it always turns out scale. But, uh, that's my curse, I guess. But, um, let's see. Get you a shot of it. It's pretty, uh, pretty good looking. It's not quite, like I said, it's not quite a long bed. But it's longer than a short bed. But, uh, I think it'll be alright. So, uh, get back here to the back. See the, uh, light over here the chassis rails come out right level with the body so that worked out pretty well they don't look quite right because the Jalan 2 rails are so thick at the back but uh be cool if I could make a or find some kind of big chrome redneck bumper to put on there <laughs> Feel like a ranch hand or something but uh yeah once uh I get all this stuff sanded down smoothed out Get the keyhole off, fill that, that door seam. It'll start looking more like a bed. But, uh, anyways.
that's where I'm going to end this one. Uh, i got to get some more supplies before I can uh, really go forward with it. So, anyways, thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Be sure to follow me on Instagram for sneak peeks of videos to come. We'll see you in the next one.